So today I want to talk with you about a pretty cool tool that some of you suggested that I took a look at. And as you know, I've been buried in my course and also creating this Build With Us challenge where I build a site inside my course and community. And that's coming to an end now, so I have a bit more time on my hands again now. So I've taken a good look at this tool and I was really impressed with how easy and well done it is. And in this video, I want to look at some of the new features and some of the really cool stuff that this tool is doing and how I'm using it for my sites. I'm also interviewing Spencer, who's the guy behind this tool. I came across this guy in 2013 when I used his old software, Longtail Pro. It's an old software to find, you can say, smaller topics or what we used to call long tail keywords. In many ways, these are often underserved topics because they are smaller topics. Not that there's a direct correlation between a topic being smaller and being underserved. We can definitely dig up some huge topics as well that are underserved. But yeah, that's how I came across Spencer many years ago. So we've both been in this game a long time and we have a pretty interesting talk about this tool, internal links in general, and also just good old times SEO and what he's up to now. So I want to show you here on my screen a few things that this tool does and as I said, some of the new additions to the tool. And then I want to head over to an interview with Spencer afterward. Okay, so here's the tool. This is Go Downsize, and I installed Link Whisper a couple of weeks ago, and I just finished adding more than a thousand links, I think, to the site internal links. So that's quite a lot. I just never really got to add enough internal links. I know my editors and my writers do add internal links, and they do that, especially over the last couple of hundred articles but I'm approaching a thousand articles on this site and many of these old articles had no internal links. So I wanted to go in and add those. And if you see here now what the tool calls often post, I talk more about that in the interview with Spencer in a minute here in this video. Those are articles that no other articles on the site are linking to internally on the site. So that means that nowhere on the site is an article pointing to this. It doesn't mean that it doesn't have any links. It will have links from, from the archive pages and the category pages, maybe even from the menu or the footer, but from in-content articles where we can show Google some topical relevance between one article and another article, there was none of those. So that's what I wanted to fix. And I think it was around, I can't remember, it's maybe 500 articles that didn't have any internal links in in that regard. So I went in here, clicked this report. That's the only thing I've been doing so far. And you can see here zero, 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 zero internal links. Maybe we should go for this one here. Three great toy haulers for full-time living. So I assume it will find somewhere on the site that I'm talking about toy haulers. So those are huge trailers that you tow behind your truck in order to bring your dirt bike or your four wheel or whatever. Okay, so here it caught the full-time, the living full-time thing, because I talk about full-time living here. And here, however, it is possible that the company could branch out in the future into toy hauler, into the toy hauler market. So I could just click here and say, okay, so the word toy hauler should link to this article here about three great toy haulers for full-time living. And then I click add links. And again, I could click all the boxes that I wanted down here and with one click up here, add like a handful or 10 or 20 links if I wanted to. So I click add links and now you'll see it's doing exactly that. So that's pretty cool because otherwise I'd have to go into Google here and type site at go down size to find articles on my site about toy haulers, for example and see where I could insert a link and see this one that I'm working on here is actually the one that comes up first. And then I have another article with six great toy haulers with slide outs. I could definitely place a link there to this one, but this is a very, very tedious process. <laughs> and it's just much, much faster to let this tool here use some machine learning to figure out where on the side am I talking about this already and then just click, 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 click and you have a handful or a couple of links to that page and it's not orphaned anymore. So, okay, that's how the tool works. That's one of the things it does. I'm going to talk about more features with Spencer in a minute, but this is what I use the tool for so far. It's also great for giving your uh, suggestions on where to link as you write your posts. But let's take a quick look at a new feature here. So they just added this clicks report. So since I just updated it, I have nothing here yet. But take a look at this screenshot here that Spencer shared in the recent video. This is from one of his sites. You'll see here that this site here has 83 clicks over a given period. And that's just a really cool 
feature because over time i mean a couple of months from now i can go in here on go downsize and see exactly which articles are getting clicked to are getting more traffic because i inserted these internal links that's pretty great because you know if people click onto that extra site that can easily mean that we will double the amount of money we will make from ads and of course if that site has affiliate links on it there's a higher chance that people will click on those and generate us some affiliate income so that's pretty sweet too, to get that feature. And I also want to show you here inside Google Search Console what happened to one of my sites after I added, I think, a couple of hundred internal links. So I have around, I think, 250 articles on the site here. It's getting close to 100,000 page views now. It's not that old. It's less than one and a half year old. So you'll see here, these three days here, uh, I think it was uh, March 23rd, 24th, and 25th, I added these internal links and see what happens. Like literally the day after, boom, the impressions just start rising immediately and the clicks followed as well. And I just looked in Google Analytics. These 20 days here compared to these 20 days, I had a 20% increase in traffic. Like 20% more page views is pretty awesome. It means that this tool paid for itself over a few days, I think, in ad revenue alone. So that's pretty darn cool. So now I want to head over to the interview with Spencer because he's going to talk more about what this tool does, what, it, what it's going to do, and some of the new features and just, I mean, really how he came up with this awesome tool. So before we head over to the interview, I just want to let you guys know that Spencer was kind enough to give all of us a 15% discount on the tool. So in order to get the discount, use the exact link that I put at the top of the description below the video and use this discount code that you see here on the screen when you enter the card on the site and you're about to do the purchase. All right, over to the interview. Welcome everybody. So here I have Spencer on the line and I'm really excited to have you here today. Welcome on board. Thank you, Morton. It's great to be here. Super excited to, uh, yeah, chat with you and uh, talk to your audience a little bit as well. Thanks, of course. And of course, we, uh, the reason I reached out right now is because I had a good reason to. I've known who you are for a while. Uh, actually, I, I, I purchased um, a license to your old tool, Longtail Pro, I think in 2013. So that's a while back. <laughs> a while back, long time ago. We're a couple old school marketers, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And and so so this time around, I'm using another piece of software of yours called Link Whisper, which I'm really enjoying, by the way. I had, you know, there's a lot of tools out there that will work with uh, affiliate links. And actually, I thought this was another Amazon affiliate links that would um, do some some analytics and stuff. This was something entirely different. Maybe you should just yeah. do like a super short presentation of what it is yeah no thanks for uh checking out link whisper and using it and i'm glad you're enjoying it um for those that don't know link whisper is an internal linking wordpress plugin and so it helps you build and manage internal links a lot faster and easier uh and there's a lot to kind of unpack with that right um but just uh, I'll give maybe three of the kind of the main use cases or, or functions of the tool is as you write your articles, Link Whisper sort of reads your article and suggests internal links to other articles that are on your site. So right within the editor and it makes it super easy. Uh, so it might suggest here's 10 potential internal links that you could be building to other articles on your site. You just check the boxes. The anchor text is already selected and you hit, you know, done or save. And so that saves a lot of time um, from having to find internal links to adding anchor text to actually adding it to your post. So that's one use case. Uh, the other use case, which I love, is building internal links to a specific post. So if you have a post that's uh, maybe ranking on the second page or you haven't built any internal links to that article, um, some internal links can definitely help it rank better. And so you build inbound internal links. And again, Link Whisper suggests those links uh, automatically for you. And so you don't and have to I'll hunt say and it, peck. Do, it does a pretty good job of that. It's pretty amazing. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And so same thing. It selects uh, the anchor text. You just check the boxes next to the links that you like. Hit update. And it adds it to all those. So if you select five links... It automatically at, goes into those five articles and points them all to that one article that you were hoping to build internal links to. Uh, and then the other thing is just sort of, I'll just add a catch all here. There's actually a ton of features of Longtail Pro, but it gives you a lot of reporting and data. 
Yeah, uh, Link Whisper. <laughs> yes, um, it gives you a lot of reporting and data on um, your internal links and your, you know, do you have any broken links? How many links do each of your articles have? Um, and, and a lot of different things. And so, um, been working on Link Whisper for a couple of years. Uh, officially launched it about a year and a half ago, and uh, it's going really well. So, glad to hear it. Cool. Did, did you develop it yourself? I know you develop software. So is it your own work? So did you hire somebody? To no. I, work yeah, on it? I didn't. I didn't code um, the software. I hired somebody else to, you know, be the developer on the tool. I just kind of come up with the ideas and manage the business. Uh, but I have cool. a full time developer currently working on it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I suspect it has uh, been through a lot of iterations because what it, what it looks like now when I joined like a month ago, it's, it's pretty extensive and some really cool features. So um, yeah, so how much have you added to it since the launch? How, how old is it by now? Yeah, so I launched in July of 2019. So a little okay. over a year and a half is when I officially launched it. And there have been a ton of updates. I don't know the total <laughs> number, but it's, I mean, well over 100 um, at, at this point, right? And wow. we're usually cool. coming out with new updates, either bug fixes or new features, at least a couple of times a month, we're releasing new uh, versions of the tool. And so uh, the initial version was really just, um, it, it, it uh, offered link suggestions right um in the post editor and building inbound internal link suggestions uh, a lot of the reporting um, a lot of the ability to manage your internal links on a more granular level we're not there when i first launched it, it was okay. definitely a mvp when it launched and now it's yeah. yeah after a year and a half it's much more robust yeah and i love how um how easy it is like you said just with a few clicks you can really add like a handful of links or even more if you want to 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 a page yeah. so the way i've been using it so far i just went in and discovered my list of orphan pages so you know articles that for those who don't know exactly what we're talking about here so we're talking about the articles or the urls on your site that doesn't have any internal links at this point and then you can go in and just create a list of those and really quickly generate some ideas like which other articles should link to this one and what should that anchor be and all that good stuff. So that's, that's just very, very easy. I think I yep. spent around, I, I didn't count exactly, but between 10 and 15 hours creating like 1,500 links on one of my bigger sites. So that, that was wow. a, a pretty big one. And I, I'm excited to see how that goes because I just finished that recently. And I, I did some initial testing on, a, on another site. It's a bit smaller, it's sitting at around 100,000 page views. And I added those links pretty quickly. Those may be internal links to 60 or 70 uh, URLs. And I saw 20% increase in traffic. And like instantly, like literally awesome. one day after I started doing this, I saw a, huge, a pretty huge spike in Search Console. So you probably can you can tell us a lot it. more about like what you normally see, but I saw a huge uh, spike in Search Console immediately, and um, quickly the traffic started to follow, and it's been pretty consistent. So I compared the last twenty days because I did this uh, around twenty days ago. I just looked up the numbers just before I I called you today, and I compared to the twenty days prior to that, and there's pretty exactly like 20.4 or something like 20% lift in traffic. So that's pretty amazing from like yeah. a few hours of work for this side. It did, of course, it didn't take like 10 hours. It took maybe four or five, six hours and it's completely risk free, right? You're just building internal links like you should have done like eight years ago. It's not like you're doing some crazy link building stuff. It's just internal right. links and helping the reader yep. so. to your own site. Um, yeah. <laughs> how much time do you think it would have taken you without using Link Whisper to build Oh, I would never links? have done it. That's why I never got to it. Never hundreds of hours, it. hundreds of hours. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, should, I should pay you more for this software. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. How much is your time worth, right? Exactly. Um, yeah. but, but that's what sometimes is hard to quantify, right? Yeah. Is um, the, the amount of time that is saved, or like you said, you just didn't even do it. And that's honestly, yeah. that's kind of why I built link whisper is because I knew how important link building internal link building was. Mm. Um, but I would 
just postpone it and almost never get yeah. to it because it's such right? a huge task to to accomplish i i totally see how a developer like you would have this approach to solving this pretty bad problem and how, yeah. how did you come up with the idea and, and and what initial testing did you do to sort of prove that you had a really solid uh, business case also here that that you would see yeah. lifts like this because i haven't seen many studies of people like having few internal links and then all of a sudden build like a lot of uh, just doing it right because it's such a huge task yeah. right yeah so i came up with the the idea um really out of my own need right because i am mm -hmm. out building a lot of sites and um, I would ask my authors, you know, to maybe try and find internal link opportunities as they're writing the article. Um, but I would never go back in after an article is published and build internal links to that new article, right? That was mm. just the task that always got pushed off. And yeah. I was like, yeah. it's ah, always on the to do list. It's, and you never get it's it done. there. <laughs> I know it's important. But then you're staring at a site that has, you know, 300 articles. They're yeah. like, I'm never going to do this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> They're going to um, do this site, colon, domain, search for a keyword, find it, open it, find it, and maybe figure out it's not that good of a match anyway. And then exactly. you're going to do some of those. It's going to take like a thousand right. Google searches. E each yeah. article, right? You're spending an hour you yeah. know, looking for internal <laughs> links. And anyways, it adds up. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, I decided, you know what? I, there's got to be somebody that could help me develop a WordPress plugin. And so that was kind of the light bulb moment when I was just like, you know what, if I could just, technology is getting smarter and smarter. Surely mm. there's a way that some sort of technology could be created to offer suggestions, you know, to links that are already on the site, right? Natural language yeah. processing is getting better and better. And so that was sort of the light bulb moment. I was like, it, there's just got to be, you know, somebody that can make this happen. And so um, hired a developer, you know, long mm. story short, I had the ideas, somebody else developed it and went through a lot of iterations and that's where it came from. Um, the, the second half of your question was sort of, you know, what sort of testing have I done? What yeah. really gave me the business case to do this? Um, I, I wouldn't say that before I developed it, I had like a solid business case in terms of, you know, have I tested out building internal links to my sites? you know, and documented that in like a, a strict study type of way. I hadn't really done that. I just mm. knew anecdotally that building internal links definitely helped. And I had read other sort of case studies of the importance of internal links. And so it's just generally accepted knowledge, I guess, in the SEO um, space that yeah. yes, this is important. Um, but after the fact, um, shortly after creating Link Whisper, I did do a large case study on ontheyard.com, right. um, which, which I can tell you about is um, you know one of my niche sites that I built in public. Um, I took 108, sorry, not 108. I'm gonna look up the number. Um, it was how many articles was it? 47, 47 pages. All right. uh, on that site that um, I did not either didn't have any internal links or had very few. Mm, yeah. Right. And I used Link Whisper to build internal links to those pages. Mm -hmm. And I found that after and I checked back in, I think it was 30 days later. I, I wrote up this case study on nichepursuits.com that I'm referencing that people can check out later. But um, after 30 days, 76, almost 77% of them had increased ranking. 15% of them had stayed the same. And if I can read my numbers, whatever that equals out to something like 6%, actually there was a decrease in ranking, you know, which mm. 30 days yeah, yeah. Google fluctuates, Lots of right? Factors. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, you know, 77% increased ranking and the traffic on some of those articles increased significantly. And so yeah. uh, pretty overwhelmingly, you know, if you build internal links, almost 80% of them increased in ranking, increased in mm. traffic. Wow. Um, and so, and, and I've seen a lot of people using Link Whisper, you know, experience the same. I get a lot of testimonials mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people reaching out and saying, you know, this is awesome, right? Um, yeah. Looking at your orphan pages, if that's the one thing people can maybe yeah. take out of this interview, <laughs> yeah. even if they don't use Link Whisper, 
like just find your articles that don't have any internal links mm. and build one or two internal links like it's an yeah. easy win like yeah, any like website contextual owner should just links, be doing like that. from inside articles, because of course they would be linked to somewhere. It's not like Google can't find right. them. It's just to increase the relevance for the keywords and to tell Google, ping them a little bit about what's this article about, right? By sending them these yes. internal anchors. So it's not so much exactly. about Google finding them, because I think that's how many SEOs talk about often pages, like that is pages true. that are like absolutely not linked to, not even from an archive page. So, so we're not talking about that. We're more talking about from other articles, right? Correct. Yep. 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 That's exactly right. And, and that's a uh, great way, I think, to think about orphan pages because I mean, with so many people using WordPress, I don't know anybody who's not using WordPress these days. You probably won't have any in the true sense of the, or the old school sense of the word right. often pages that Google will not find during a, a deep crawl. So it's more for building like that relevance. Right. That's exactly right. Um, you know, anything you can do to tell Google what your pages are about and what they should be ranking yeah. for, you should be doing right. Yeah. And, and uh, using think, the right, yeah, sorry, using the ahead. right anchor text, right. With, with, you know, keyword rich anchor text, is a great way to do that. And internal links, you can be a little more aggressive than mm. like external links as well. So, yeah, absolutely. And and so I sent you a few questions, and I was because I was wondering about if you give any thought to like how aggressively can you go with internal links? Um, have Have you seen some people going overboard? Maybe have a negative impact, like you know, like some sites like Wikipedia have a ton of internal links. So it seems like you can you can take it pretty far if you want to, right? Right. Yeah, I agree. You can definitely be uh, more aggressive, like I said, with anchor text. But also, um, I, I get asked a lot, like, how many internal links should an article yeah. have, right? <laughs> um, and there's no perfect answer, right? But the kind of two rules of thumb or general guidelines that I throw out there is like for every subheading that you have, you know, like an H2 tag or an H3 tag hmm. in that section, you know, those few paragraphs, one or two internal links is probably about right. Uh, and, or you could, I often say about one internal link per 100 words. If you're doing more than that, that might hmm. be too many, right? Yeah, that makes so sense. if you have all, a thousand It would also words, look a little weird if you had like a yeah. of internal links, yeah. Right, and so um, I would try to be as relevant as possible, mm. right? Don't get overly aggressive and just because you can link everywhere. Um, try to be relevant, try to you know pick the best, um, mm. best matches that you can possible. Um, any negative impacts? Um, I don't know that I've seen anybody specifically say that, hey, they built too many internal links. Mm. Um, and they saw something negative happen, but I, I could see maybe from a user perspective, right? Especially if you're reading an article and like almost every word is a uh, anchor text, that would be not a good user experience. So, yeah. um, you want to be careful. Yeah, of course. And always keep it natural and think about the end user, yeah. right? Because if we think about the user and the reader, Google is typically all right with what we do, right? Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Did did you um, did you ever study like time on site before and after doing something like this? Because of course, if people actually click the links and they read that next article, you know that can lead to increased ad earnings and stuff. It's something that I wanted to dive a little bit more into. I didn't have time to do it prior to uh, so I'll call here. Yeah, uh, I don't have a specific study that I can point to on that, okay. um, but we do know that uh, users do click on internal links mm -hmm. and they that will have them go to a second page. Um, and the the one thing that I can point to in, in relation to this, it's actually a brand new feature of Link Whisper that was just released, uh, is the clicks report uh, feature. Mm. Ah, interesting, um, cool. Yeah, and so there's now a clicks report that you can pull up and it'll show you exactly the number of clicks over time, you know, a, a daily graph, how how many clicks that individual article mm. has gotten, right? So if your article has 10 links, you know, in that article, it'll show you which links got clicked and how many every single day, right? And so 
I, I was just looking at some of my articles, mm -hmm. right? And, um, you know, one of my articles gets uh, 40, it was like 40 to 50 clicks a day on the actual internal links of that particular article, right? Wow, so cool. I don't know how many, t you know, maybe it gets read, um, you know, 100 times a day. And 40 of those people are clicking other yeah. links to go to other articles, yeah. right? Um, and so that, that clicks report uh, can help people see that, hey, these internal links are leading to additional page views, which mm. increases time on site, uh, yeah. et cetera, and, and can also help you optimize, right? It can help you see, whoa, this link is getting clicked a ton, and mm -hmm. this one down here is not. What can I do different if I want more people to click this one link versus yeah. the other? That's also some amazing stats. Even if you have like a small site, let's say you just had a smaller business site, maybe eight, 10, 15 pages, just seeing something like that where you can, where you can really, really geek out on each and every link, how you word it, how you optimize it. I think that's, yep. that's, that's a really cool feature. And yeah. I'm probably, I mean, from having it like an affiliate side or a content side or whatever people are building, without even seeing any increase in rankings, probably people will earn the money back pretty quickly just from additional ad revenue or something like that, yep. or additional affiliate income, just from people looking at your site for longer time and yep. deeper. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, so that's, um, that's sort of the depth there, other than, again, just sort of, um, you know, industry sort of, knowledge or uh, expertise you know if you read additional blogs on internal links the thing that is typically cited is it does increase page views um yeah. you know because you're directing uh visitors over to other pages yeah um and that sort of thing so yeah cool and do you have any uh updates in the brewing that you can you can talk about some stuff that you know is coming out or that just came out you mentioned uh that analytics. was that was the big one we were working on that clicks report um for um a couple of months there and we just got that out just it's been less than a week now um wow. and so I that I that need to go in an update <laughs> yeah you should definitely check it out and let me know what you think um other than that i mean we are constantly adding like more international support like other mm. you know um other languages right like we obviously support a lot of you know, Spanish language, French, Russian, um, but we're oh, expanding cool. that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I think we just added Serbian language or we're in the process of adding that. Um, and uh, Arabic as well. Um, so we're working on that. Those are some of the updates that maybe not all users will yeah. notice or care about, but we're tapping into a lot of other sort of foreign markets, mm. foreign users that are updating the uh, plugin as well. Um, we, uh, I'm just trying to think if there's any other like big ones that I can talk about right now. Um, we're always looking for, for new ideas. We're open to uh, recommendations. So if people have ideas that they want to see in mm. Link Whisper, I'm always happy to take a look and, and see if it's worth adding. Cool. And I'll definitely put your contact info, any links you want uh, people to find you at. And you can also, of course, mention where people can find you if they have ideas, if they've been testing it out. Maybe you should just share you um, where people can find you and connect with you in case they want to do that. Yeah, um, people can go um, to probably the best place is nichepursuits.com. I have a contact page there, um, and so they can contact me there. Or you can certainly go to linkwhisper.com, and uh, you'd have to, if you're trying to contact me, you'd have to file a support <laughs> or, or ticket your folks. there. And, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, I, I'm available there. Um, I'm also on Twitter, you know, twitter.com slash niche pursuits. Um, people can get in touch with me there as well. So cool. Well, is there anything else you think people should know about Link Whisper? And then I also just, just want to ask you afterwards a little bit about your other endeavors like motion invest and stuff. But is there anything else we should touch on around Link Whisper at this point? Um, I think we hit on it pretty well. Um, just it, it's really one of those things that's meant as a tool to help you in your SEO efforts um, as you are, you know, sort of refining or updating or even publishing new content. You know, the ability to add internal links, making it faster and easier. That's that's really the end goal. Um, so hopefully people enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm happy to talk about, yeah, anything else, Motion Invest or 
Any other questions you yeah, got? Yeah, because I've come across it. Motion Invest. I also uh, know John a little bit, and uh, it's um, yeah, it's a pretty cool. So for people who don't know it, so it's a it's a cool platform that Spencer built with two other uh, folks, where you can uh, flip uh, or buy and sell websites that are not huge websites. But so what is um, the average? Is it up to around ten thousand dollars in revenue, or maybe a little less than that? So. So we'd say small, medium affiliate websites uh, where you can sell, you can buy them. Um, so that's pretty cool because I guess we all know these huge ones like Empire Flippers and these sites where they will take a huge cut and um, probably focus their attention on the bigger sites. Right. Yeah, that was the whole um, reason for the idea is that we felt like uh, the the smaller end, right, like sites making less than... 5000 or even less than $2,000 a mm. month are kind of being left behind by Empire Flippers and other brokers, right? There's very few places you can go that really target, you know, sites in that range, you know, sort of the yeah. even $10 a month to $2,000 a month. That's yeah. kind of the sweet spot. We certainly yeah. have sold sites that are a little bit bigger on Motion Invest and, and we will do that. Um, but you're kind of left with Flippa as the option. And mm. Uh, we all know that Flippa, sometimes you don't get very well vetted listings. Anything can be listed there. Um, sometimes they're good sites, sometimes they're bad sites. Mm. Uh, and so with Motion Invest, we have a big due diligence process where we vet the sites and make sure they're actually making money. Um, the sites are trending in the right direction. They haven't been recently penalized. Uh, and if they have been, we won't even allow them to be listed, right? And so. Mm. All right. So that's kind of where we try to differentiate ourselves is, you know, these are vetted sites, even though they may be smaller, you hopefully can be comfortable, you know, taking a look at these and, and eventually buying one of them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So people can take a look there as well. I'll leave a link to that as well in the description so people can see what you were up to. Awesome. And, um, it was really, good. really cool talking to you. Um, yeah. Finally, face to face. I've known who you are, as I said, for, for a while, Been using your software for a long time, and I'm really enjoying uh, link whisper i'll have an affiliate link also in the um, in the description so thank you if you want to use that you can also find the link to link whisper on my tools page where you'll find all the tools that i use and i recommend and i think link whisper is the latest addition to that list so happy to to list that one there awesome thank you morton it's been great uh, chatting and um you know about internal links and everything else but getting to know you i really appreciate uh having having me on the show of course. And um, yeah, thanks for dropping by and uh, see you around. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Bye.